If you find yourself in the city of Zaragoza in Spain for less than a day, there would still be so much for you to see and do in this ancient city. Hola, this is Alex. Welcome to my channel, Manileña Madrileña, where you can learn about places to see and things to eat in Madrid and in Spain and about life overseas. If you haven't yet, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you know when my videos go live. Today I want to tell you about the city of Zaragoza where I stayed for a little less than a day. It was a short visit because it was only a stopover on a trip to the Pyrenees mountain range. Zaragoza is located in the northeastern part of Spain. It was founded between 25 and 11 BC as a Roman colony, so it's a very, very old city. I was very excited to see some Roman ruins which I'd heard were to be found there. I rode with my friend Teresa and her fiancé Joaquin, and the drive from Madrid to Zaragoza took about three hours. I was asleep for most of the drive, so I won't be able to tell you if the view during the drive was pretty or interesting. By the time I woke up, it was dark and we were already in Zaragoza. We arrived a little earlier than our other friends whom we were meeting up with, so we decided to go around the city for a little bit. We went to Plaza del Justicia, where the Church of Santa Isabel was. It's a Baroque-style church that was built in the 1700s. Since it was the holiday season, the center was lit up and very festive. The lights were something to see. There were activities you could try, including ice skating. There was a Christmas market where you could buy gifts like plants, clothes, snow globes, and many, many other things. And of course, you could buy food and drink. We had some warm red wine which I'd never had before. It was sweet and perfect for the cold weather. We also got some baked potatoes which were cooked in a very interesting oven. It looked ancient and had a lot of drawers like you would see in a bedroom. You could ask for different toppings for your potatoes, but Joaquin asked for the one with everything on it. Yeah, un poco de todo, ¿no? Una bomba. Atún. Es como una ensaladilla rusa. Atún, queso, patata. Sí, eh, aceituna, zanahoria. Ya con mayonesa. Then we looked at the cathedral, which is one of the main attractions of Zaragoza. The name is pretty long. It's the Cathedral Basilica of Our Lady of the Pillar. The structure was very impressive, especially with the dramatic night lighting. After our friends arrived, we went bar hopping. I was surprised to see that Zaragoza had a very active nightlife. We had some tapas and drinks in various bars and ended the night at 3. When we got up the next morning and started exploring, I saw that the city looked very different in daylight. The buildings were still impressive, of course, but they looked so much more dramatic at night. 
it was nice to walk by the river because of the bridges which made for some pretty views. You could also see some Roman ruins which were proof of the city's ancient history. You could enjoy looking at works of art in random places. The old was mixed with the new in some alleys where you could see some street art. One thing that I found interesting was an ancient Roman amphitheater which was well preserved and well covered. We went back to the cathedral so that we could admire its beauty and grandeur by the light of day. The cathedral is reportedly the first ever church in history to be dedicated to Mary. According to ancient local tradition, soon after the death and resurrection of Jesus, Mary appeared to St. James, who was preaching the gospel in Spain. She supposedly gave him a pillar of jasper, which is a type of quartz, and directed him to build a church in her honor. And this pillar, of course, is where the name of the cathedral comes from. After walking the streets of the city for a bit, we got hungry, so we went to a traditional Spanish bar. We had little sardine sandwiches, which appeared to be a very popular dish in the bars in Zaragoza. My friends ordered some of the specialties with meat while I had their grilled cuttlefish. And after that meal, we were ready for the long drive to the Pyrenees. 20 hours in the city of Zaragoza weren't enough to discover everything that the city had to offer. But it was apparent that there were so many other interesting things to see in the city of Zaragoza, aside from the magnificent Cathedral of Our Lady of the Pillar. Do you like looking at old churches? Do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, ciao chicos!